Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 49 in chapter 13. Chapter 13 is about the fluids. In this one, we need to find the force. The weight, the weight of the force act on the roof, the house's roof, by this wind, right? This wind velocity is given. So now we can draw a picture to make a better understanding. So we can consider this is a roof. And this is the initial position, it's at the bottom, inside. This is outside of the roof, the position 2, right? So at the position inside, we have pressure P1, Y1, V1 equal to 0, because there is no wind. Okay, at the position 2, we have P2, Y2, V2. V2 is given from the wind, right? And now, the Y2, we can consider it equal to Y1, because this roof, we can consider it's not very thin. It's very thin, very thin. So y1 equal to y2. Now we consider there is a pressure act on this roof. So where is the pressure come from? Come from this difference between P2 and P1. Do you agree? And this pressure brings the force act on this roof, right? So we can consider Bolognese equation. So at the initial position, we have the equation, right? At this one, P1, one half rho, V1 square, rho G, Y1, right? And in the position two, similarly, we have the equation. So at the both sides, it equals. Now we can see V1 equal to zero, Y1 equal to Y2, so this term cancel. Now we can write it in this way. Now we find the difference for pressure, delta P equal to P1 minus P2. 1 half rho v 2 g, right? This one, we get the pressure difference. Now, next step, how can you find the force, the weight? This force just equal to the weight, right? This force is, we consider the pressure times the cross-sectional area. This is A. A is given 6.2 meter times 12.4 meter in size, right? So now we can find this force equals to the difference pressure times A and input the known quantities. We get final answer there. Thank you.